don't really notice until you're old enough to be a bit more aware of the world. And um, in June, I went on tour in America with a poet called Keith Jarrett. And if you don't know him, look him up on YouTube. The guy is fantastic. Kept UK slam chance. Amazing. And he's Jamaican, which means he's black. And we arrived at passport control at the exact same time. Me on one desk, him on the other. And I went through in 30 seconds, you know, what you here for business or pleasure, stamp, thank you. Keith got taken into a little room for six and a half hours and asked questions about terrorism and things like that. And the only difference between the two of us is the colour of our skins. My pale skin comes with unseen protection. If race was sold by car salesmen, white would be a factory standard presetting for extra safety. This gift God gave me makes me the Volvo of human beings. But the cotton swaddled autocoddling afforded by paler pigmenting goes unnoticed by those who never had to pick cotton in the first place. I am graced with the privilege of this white face, firmly placing me as perpetrator, never victim, of racism. Melanin-free skin gives me easy living in every one of this planet city. It is a permanently worn Kevlar vest, armor plating never laid to rest, better protection than being born in the West. Want to give your kid the best chance at life? I think the white. Thank you. Thank you.